Well, hello, everyone. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. We're going to start off... I don't think you're going to like where we start off, Bix. Oh, no. No, because let me tell you what happened. I, I played this game and I was like, let me see, let me just take a dip inside here and see what the game is going to look like, you know, for the next stream. So we can, we can plan out what we're going to do. And then I realized that the game stopped me and wanted me to do something very specific and I can't get around it. So welcome oh, yeah. back. Yeah, no, just, just hold tight. We're going to go ahead and, and, uh, and get right into it. What do you mean, offline? Oh. I don't know. Oh, right. I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Well, that seems bad. All right, we, we, yeah, we should probably take care of that. I understand completely. Do you? Commander. I do. Com systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. Well, let me tell See you. If you can get to Edie, I'll check the AI core. In the, the first thing that I did when I did this on my own was, man. This is probably not where Bix wants to start off the stream. So instead, let me see if I can just do this. Commander, fire alarm in the AI core. Get down to deck three. No, no, you, you gotta, you have to confront. You have to confront it. <laughs> uh, but before we can, here, this is something we saw just barely. This is our, well, I mean, it is what it is. It's our memorial wall, but you can see it does accurately reflect who has lived and who has died and who will tell our story so far. Uh, we have Caden Alenko, who is dead as a doornail. We also have Richard L. Jenkins. We finally know for damned sure mm. that he is in fact the L. Jenkins that we thought he was. All right, let's take care of this Evie situation. Pardon Joker. me, everybody. What's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. A fire on a spaceship is bad news. That's extremely I'm bad news. In. Can't think of almost anything as dire as that. What the fuck kind of fire extinguisher is that? What is that stance? Eating, talk That's them not wanting to make a new animation for the fire extinguisher. He's, That's he's what it is. firing the fire extinguisher like it's a fucking Uzi. You can see the recoil in the animation. <laughs> they didn't want to make a new animation. Speaking is of not wanting to make new animations. Hi, Edie. Oh, uh, it's every bit Edie. as bad as I thought it would be. Yes. You're in what are you talking about? Eva's body. Not all of me. But I have control of it. What do you mean? It was not a seamless transition. Well, there are plenty of seams. I can see seams right over there. What what happened? How did this come to be, Evie? A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I Let was Let sleeping able to dogs lie, I guess. Repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Wait, how did the fire happen, though? Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within oh, yeah. the ship. Oh yeah, nothing has For changed. control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry I mean, that's is not up to, you. to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground Ed support. is now a walking, talking Wi-Fi hotspot. Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Okay, yeah, fine. Fuck it, why not? I'll tell you when I need it. Excellent. I'll take I will it. Run tests to ensure that it matches or exceeds the capabilities of organic. This is very weapons. Star Trek However, OG. My first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just Good luck with don't that. Be surprised if the crew's a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. 
I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. Yeah. On that, we can agree. Yep. Well, okay. Edie is now... Well, now Edie is Edie. Mass Effect 3D. Your stunned silence is, is intriguing to me. Is, is everything okay there? Are you doing all right? I mean, we talked about this before we started. You know that I'm not. We did. We Yes, we talked about this before. Hold on, trainer. I, I kind of want to check out what's going on with Edie and Joker, if Edie is in fact up there right now. Hold on. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, okay. Is what I'm about to see going to make me like Joker less as a character? I don't know. That depends on you. Oh, no. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot. Did you have something to do with this? So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? Come on, Commander, don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that. I would have baked a cake. I am right here, Jack. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. So here's the thing. Joker yeah. hasn't changed and Edie hasn't changed. Honestly, their dynamic hasn't changed. Joker was kind of into Edie when Edie was a ship. And to be honest, I liked that a little bit more. I thought it was a little that bit- That makes a lot of sense. It was sci-fi and it was interesting. Like they clearly had like a flirty coworker thing going on, right? There was definitely a subversion there. Yeah. And now that subversion has been subverted back well, into relative normalcy. Well, you you've got to put something on you've got to put something on the box so that people who like Cortana will buy your Mass Effect game. What's the prob what what's uh, 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 uh. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. Yeah, I'm glad he's back too. What about Hello, you, Edie? Listen, I'm getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has series design oversights. At the moment, it appears adequate. Well, listen, That's judging... Not the word I'd use to describe you. Judging by the fact Perhaps that the last time we saw you in action, we literally couldn't beat you, and you also damn near beat Ashley I'll be to over death. Here, flying the ship. You're probably fine for What's combat this scenarios. Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Yeah, Joker would say that. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? I mean, yeah, kinda. Yeah. Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. As she stares at the camera. I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core program. Yeah, that was a little worrying. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer. Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? I saw that episode of Star Trek TNG. I think you should make your own decisions. Only you can I really also answer think that question. That's the point we brainwashed the, the shit out of the Geth. Why stop there? Be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for We opinion, didn't brainwash I the Geth. Miss crucial context. May I ask you the question? Well, the yes, we did. When there is time, will you answer? But I comment? felt real bad about it. If you want level-headed answers to help you fit into polite society, I'm not really the right person. The, uh, okay, I so see. we brainwashed the Geth, yes. But the other option was effectively genocide. So yeah, I was okay with. The, if you have, I wasn't okay with lesser it. Lesser of but, two evils. Yes, the lesser of two evils was brainwashing to give them a second ch Also, dude, you're not hitting buttons! Alright. Can we fire him? Get somebody who's, like, actually gonna do stuff? 
Uh, I was okay with it in that That's scenario. Why I'm unemployed. Also, I think free will on yeah, free will is a good look for Edie. Edie had the opportunity to kill us a couple of different times and she never took it. I'm okay with that. Hmm. Got a couple options here. Now, do we want to go back to the Citadel to talk to Ashley? Or do we want to go and meet with these diplomats? What would you like to do, Big? Ashley or diplomats? Ashley or diplomats? Ketchup or catsup? Ketchup? You or can't catsup? see it, but I'm I'm doing like the hand weights thing, you know? Catsup. I'll let you decide. Alright, we're going to meet the diplomats. We're gonna we're gonna progress the plot. Here's here's the thing. I actually really don't mind Edie as a character in this game because Edie kind of just continues to be the character that she was before. Like, that doesn't change. The part that skeeves me out is, like, the same approach that they took with Diana Allers, which is, it's just such a very... The intent. The intent from marketing mm -hmm. does not match the intent from the script writers. And granted, the scriptwriters of Mass Effect 3 maybe not firing on all cylinders, and maybe that's not entirely their fault, but marketing made some There's a choices. To be sure. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. The diplomatic ships of the Salarians, Turians, and Krogan float far away from one another, out of weapon range. Messages sent by each faction indicate that they would welcome the Normandy as neutral meeting ground for their diplomats. The fact that they have not agreed on a ship to serve as neutral meeting point before now does not bode well for the negotiations. That's true. We might just die. Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. Let's do some space politics. And hope right, right. We were supposed war. to do some space politics. Yeah. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan? Yeah! Er, not Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard Varen. You unleash whenever you're in trouble. Dude, you, you look problems. fantastic. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Mm. Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure. For the genophage. Oh? Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Wait, wait, wait. What's the problem here? Why are you so opposed to the idea, Dalatras? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you Do used us you? to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians. You kind of just like or even the Turians that shoved the your foot in the door of Krogan their genetic destiny, the right? And after mm -hmm. that, you cease to be useful. The genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. You should apologize. We the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Yeah, you fucked up. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's you treat them like animals, point, they're gonna we come back and bite you. Decision. We turn to the it's the same with anybody. It's the same anywhere. mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the genophage. Oh god. L oh, wh I, don't, I don't like- Look, the Krogan deserve a cure. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. It's like 1,400 decimated their years, culture. If you're keeping track, it was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough. Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. Oh? My information says otherwise. I think we have a mission or two on our hands. Hmm. A Salarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing yep. a cure on our I remember planet. Malin. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you did. He almost know killed himself. Is that other females survived his experiments. 
So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess. A detective prisoner. Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? Is it? How oh, will curing the genophage benefit my people? I need. I don't give a shit about you, to be honest. What does it matter? Palavin is burning right now. Earth is burning right now. If it takes a cure to cement this alliance, then that's what I'm doing. I want everybody to join She's in. She's right. The hard truth is we don't have a choice. We can't manage unless we're all together. Wants. Or none of us will survive long enough to know who was right or wrong. The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. This is fucked up that but you've admitted I to this. You, Commander, the consequences of this will... Excuse me. Will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers win. Let's get the females. You hear that? You're not setting That's the sound of my morality bar take taken off. It happens now. That's the sound the of females. Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. Females We're going. are the future of the galaxy, all right? I have that End of the COVID. I won't engraved this, into the back of my the N7 armor. When he needs the most. Man, the Dalatras seems awful. I'm just going to put Honestly. that out there. Like, genuinely terrible. Oh, God. Straight up shitty. <laughs> I forgot that we gave him this fucking face mask. <laughs> uh, I want Garrus. Come on. I have to ask. We're yeah. both thinking it. Is there an alt costume that isn't as bad? I don't remember how many there are for Edie. Um, that's the. I like this last one. Last one's kind of dumb, yeah. but it, I, <laughs> it's dumb, but I like it. This one is. Kind of matches Liara's thing. It's just like a, like a, black like operative costume, I guess. Do you like I any of these in particular? Say, I want to say that the body suits are better, but I'm not basing that on anything. The body suits are uh, they're like professional assassin attire, right? Yeah, I'll accept that. I feel like it kind of fits Edie's personality of God. What? What is the- oh god, I hate this! This is awful! This is like every design of Batman where they give him like a, a fucking desert scrawl and have like ammo coming off of his uh, extremities because he needs to look cool and edgy. I fucking hate that. Also, well, that just makes him- kind That's- of... That's cool. I like that one. You like... Maybe you don't. I do. Alright, we'll go for the heavy. We'll... Everybody's gonna look like a kind of a deadly badass. How about I'm not that? saying use it necessarily. I'm just saying I like it. Yeah, we can use it. If you like it, we can use it. We've still got our, our pistol and our shotgun. Actually, I kind of wanted to try out a different pistol. Uh, I wonder if they still have... they. We don't have the one that I like yet. But... Hmm... Might just go for this eagle, I guess. It's, the, it's supposed Might to be like well. a like a space desert eagle or something. Uh, no, no. It's not I, what I'm seeing. I don't Looking know guns. Stats. I don't know guns. I mean, I know what you mean, and you would be right. But no, looking at those stats, no. I mean, not looking at the stats, but looking like yeah, I'm I'm kind of just going off of. What do I think they the want me to glean from the fact that it's called a, a, the N7 Eagle, right? And you would think that. But just going off of those stats, I'm inclined to say no. It's not that. Okay. Well, we're not using a sniper rifle anymore. So instead, we'll go ahead and do the fire one power while cloaked and remain hidden. Which seems... That could be interesting. That could at least certainly help while we're trying to heal ourselves. Sticky grenade. Eh, I kind of don't want to deal with grenades right now. Operational no. mastery? Hmm. You know what? Fuck it. We've got a couple points to spend. We might as well pick one up, right? Stick this grenade more to your options. opponent. Can't go wrong with more options. I like the options. Alright, we'll do this. 
we've at least got a couple grenades that we can use. Edie, you can have what you like. Garrus, you can have what you like. I vaguely remember this. Oh, right! We get to spend a whole lot of time with Solarian dudes. This is a good one. As we go on to this Jade Empire planet. This is the Solarian I thought you were going to say as we go on to this JPEG. This JPEG land, empire. The females and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Yeah? Do what you do best, man. If they start backtracking, the angry Krogan act couldn't hurt. Who said anything about acting? Just try to keep it verbal. These females are the best and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them home, you know, Rex. Rex, long enough for this. you sound younger this time around. I was gonna say he sounds I different. You assist, Garrus. Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. Retrieving the female. I think in general, the tone for because it's it's also with Garrus a little bit. Yeah. Sounds like Joker didn't I think teach you the tone is a little bit just more like, hey, Man, Jokey, I'm let's go in there and shoot some bad guys. And two was Set all like Shepard. I've been rebuilding my people from the scraps of nothing. It's good to see you, old friend. And Garrus is like, I've lost everything. All of my friends are dead. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Land anyway. authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Rex? I miss you, Rex. We have an unauthorized landing. I'll say. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? Ooh! It's a pretty dynamic entry. Love you, Rex. Halt! Stand down! Hold your fire! Hold on, everybody. We need to undo war crimes. We only found out about this transfer a few moments ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can work this out. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. I'm actually here to talk nice, believe it or not. Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist he remain under guard. <sighs> okay. I can handle this, Rex. Anything goes wrong and all bets are off. That's fair. <laughs> Immediately I shoves him. I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Oh yeah, you remember him. He's not the same one, Careful. but... Watch the containment shield! Brings back... Oh uh, yeah, look at that. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. Such as? What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Oh, yeah. No, this seems like a shady kind of place, actually. Seems like a good place to hide things you don't want the galaxy to know about. Like female Krogan. I'm aware of how this must look. but it Which we still have good. yet to see. We were in poor health when yeah. we found them on Tuchanka. We brought them here to stabilize their condition. This whole planet smells wrong. <laughs> I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Yeah, that sounds good. So, you may have noticed, by the way, and keep this in mind as we talk to more people, um, the tone of dialogue and the, the pacing of dialogue has changed in this game because you're railroaded into conversations a whole lot more. There's a lot less, like, investigation and neutral prompts in this game. You usually get like one, maybe two investigation prompts outside of like big story moments. And then everything else is kind of just Paragon Renegade and no, no in between, right? I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Just keep that in mind. You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. That would be nice. Krogan females? What do you think about handing over the Krogan? 
I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the genophage will bring closure to this issue. I agree. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. Agreed. Straight Thanks up. Your time. Of course. Proceed into the elevator when you're ready. So Paddock Wicks here. Uh, I believe he would have been Captain Kirahi had Captain Kirahi survived Vermeer. Hmm. I I'm still a little upset that we didn't save Captain Kirahi because I thought that we did, and then he just died now anyway. Take this elevator down, and someone will. War were declared. What's happening? If I had to guess, combat. Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. Hurry, Commander. Someone will meet you below. We were having a little bit too much talky talky in this mission. Time to shoot bang my big gun. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. All specimens are accounted for, sir. Yo! Shepherd, excellent timing. Good to have you here. What's up, man? Hey! Eyesight's still sharp. Surprise, understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. You're back with STG. Special consultant. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. <laughs> Fair enough. Helped female Krogan. Fed information to Clan Erdnot. Encouraged political pressure to free female. Good shit. You must be Rex's inside source. Yes, can explain later. Security warnings not normal. Need to get off world for sake of Krogan. Females had weakened immune systems. Side effect of Malin's cure. These didn't survive. God damn it. Tell me about Malin's data. But what about Malin's research? I thought we saved it. Indeed, data saved, but not complete. Lacks crucial details to reconstruct cure, but still useful for synthesizing from living tissue. Couldn't save them. You tried, though. I'm sure you did everything you could, Morton. Arrived too late. Cannot delay now. One survivor, immune to genophage, can synthesize cure from her tissue. Oh, of course. She's still here. Yes, last hope for Krogan. If she dies, genophage cure... She oh, is the last of us. Two, one might say. But one might Please prefer be careful. if one did. Krogan slow to trust. Oh, boy. What's a better- I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. This is my favorite Krogan on the Are Citadel. Here to kill me? I can't imagine what she's been through. Erdnot, Rex, and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? Have the Salarians been mistreating you? Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. Did the best we could. This is a really cool and design. I know I'm the only one left. That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander Shepard? Why are you here? I need to save the Krogan. You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. You're like the single most important NPC that we've met. This is an interesting track, by the way. Yeah. Communications have been severed. We're cut off. We get to take a look at Krogan culture a little bit more in this game, and. A lot of it is ships inbound. A lot of it is really cool. A lot of it is what you wouldn't expect. And I I really dig what they do with her character in general. Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down The plot here. was getting a little bit too interesting, Rex. We were learning a little bit too much about the uh, the social economic like climate of these space politics. We need to go ahead and shoot some guys. Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimens. Oh! Objection noted. Now, please release Krogan. Love you, Morden. Need to monitor pod as it clears quarantine procedures. I also appreciate that Morden like has been like... Yeah, well reassured. I really appreciate that Morden has like continued to try and undo his past. Shepard. Like, the effects of Mass Effect 2 on him, like, he didn't just, uh, retreat into himself and be like, oh, woe is me, I've done war crimes. He's actually been trying to solve it. Yeah. 
There. Try it now, Commander. Well, thank you. Oh no. Oh crap. Get back. Somebody set up a <laughs> the bomb. Indeed, somebody set us up the bomb. Is there way I don't believe we have any chance to survive. On the side of the lab. An Make answer. your time. I can open it from here. So when's our full playthrough of Shepard, Zero Wing? Man, that's for... That is for nobody who was born in this century. I know. I started saying that and I was like, Dude, who the fuck is gonna remember all your base? I barely remember all your base. But that's literally- that's also what's going on right now. Yeah? Hey, what's up, guys? Let's see. Okay, so we, we got ourselves a new thing here. Um, sticky grenade. Try it. Oh, did it just not stick? I think it's stuck to a wall. Ah, uh, it's lame. Let's go ahead and give it another shot. Give it another stick. Oh, boy. This is somehow... This, it's, it's such an interesting series to me because, like... God damn. I keep expecting it to do, like, the... The thing... What's that guy do it? Also throwing a grenade. Clear. It's unlikely that was the last of them. Oh, man. Okay, so while we get a chance, I want to take a look at the actual planet here, because I do like the design of it. I just hate that it's become nothing but a combat... Uh, a combat zone. Like, we barely... So what you're saying to me is that you hate that it's in Mass Effect 3. I hate that we just... We just got here, and we, we, we talked to, like, two people, and immediately we're into this. Mm -hmm. Like, remember how long it took us to get through Tuchanka before we actually fought the Thresher Maw and everything? We're on our way. Tuchanka would have been a better Mass Effect 3 planet, when you think about it. I have some really good news for you. I'm down. God, this is fucking terrible. This is so bad. Look at this. Unacceptable. Uh... No, you, you gotta do the you gotta do the hop. You gotta do the hop instead. Uh, I have some great news for you though, which is that Tuchanka is somewhere that we're gonna be going. We're gonna be seeing. I'm gonna say Tuchanka might well be the best part of this game, and that's all I need to say about it for now. But you know, keep in mind, like. This game is not all lows. We're still in some of the lows, but we're not... Eh. We got some more stuff coming up. What's happening now is definitely a low, but at the same time... Like, I want to see where it goes. Yeah, that is not a space desert either. Not even close. No. This is a... I mean, it's a semi-auto. Pretty basic. I mean, it shoots straight. There's only so much I can complain about a gun that shoots okay? straight. Containment shield is holding. We'll try to repair if necessary. Can't speak for Krogan's health, however. I'm fine, Commander. Females kept secret. Possibly a mole in STG could be indoctrinated. If no Krogan alliance with Turians, Reaper's left unchallenged. Oh no. No. We'll do more than challenge them. You guys get out of here. We will handle all of this. Now, I could be crazy. I feel like if this were two, that would have been... God, why'd I pull out the fuck? Here. This is, this is where you would want to use the, the grenade. That's not as big of a boom as I was hoping. It did this, some damage, though. Yeah, it was alright. It did some splash damage, I like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that's quite the read. I know. Oh, Shepard, nice Ramirez! Hang on, Gotta get to the burger town. It's... 
Oh god, it's just such a... It is the epitome of like a 360 arena shooter. No, because arena shooters are good. This is something else. I don't know. Arena shooters are like your Quake and your Unreal Tournament. This well, is that, something else. That's why I said 360 arena shooters, because 360 arena shooters were this and Gears of War. That's not an arena shooter. I don't care what anyone says. You get locked into arenas and you gotta shoot. It's not the same thing, though. I understand what you're saying. What would you call it? Capable of anything. A cover shooter? Cover shooter? Cover shooter? Okay. Cover shooter. A waste high wall shooter. I, I think, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll plus one you on cover shooter. Mass Effect 3 is the epitome of cover shooter. Oh, and it sucks! Here, toss this in there. Man, could you imagine if this game played like a real tournament? That would fucking kick ass! It really would. Stop trying to make me want it. Because I really want it. Like, what if Mass Effect 3 was Mass Effect 3, but it just... Like, it's still the same game, but it plays like Unreal Tournament. Yeah, and it's weird to say that, because it's not like it plays badly. It's just... It, it is so very of the era. It's so of the era, but it's also just like... It completely misses the tone of what I like about the series. It just, it, 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 it strips away damn near all of the subtlety. Instead of playing like a, like, snappily and, and very, like, everything clicks together really well. Instead, uh, it's just like, you're constantly sticking to cover and you can't put away your gun. And it's just, it just feels so weird and bad. I'm not a games critic. Otherwise, I might have, like, words to properly communicate how it feels. But I believe it feels bad. I am more or less a games critic. I am very critical of games. But I don't have the words because I'm not playing it. I will say this much, though. I do appreciate that ED did like a cool combat role the first time that we got into uh, that previous section. I appreciate yeah. that ED can do that now. Whoop. I mean, ships can do combat roles, and they're usually cooler than when people do them. Eh. I mean, they can do them. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool when people do combat roles. Keep, I mean, one of I my. I think ships on a whole are cooler than people. One of my That's favorite my things. That's my opinion. It depends on the ship, I think, and depends on the person. And the Normandy is pretty cool. Normandy is cool. Imagine playing through, like, a, a space combat game with the Normandy, but it plays like Burnout just in space. Stop making me want it. There are so many things you could do with the Mass Effect franchise. And there are so many things you could do with the Normandy. Instead, we got Mass Effect 3. Gears of War in space. I mean, shit, dude. Imagine if Shepard had an Omni tool that also turned into a chainsaw when you meleeed somebody. That would be neat. That would be neat. I'm kind of surprised they didn't also copy that. I wonder if maybe they patented that. They may have patented that. Epic are fucking scumbags, and they always have been. Oh, yeah. I don't want to say always, but since the dawn of Gears of War, they have been. I thought you were going to say, I, no, I don't want to say always, but since the dawn of time. <laughs> Not always, but since time immemorial. That's the flavor of pettiness you've come to expect from me. That's right. There has to be some sort of power conduit around here. I know, it's probably that one. Uh, this is what I wanted to say, though, is one of my favorite things in the world is not combat roles, but combat roles when it's pointless to do them, I think is incredible. Yeah. 
Oh god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you have motion sickness. Or if you don't like the sound of me mashing my thumb on the keyboard. Ooh, the sc Yeah, okay, the scorpion is what I wanted. If I remember correctly, the scorpion kicks ass. Well, now we have it. Yes, I think this is the one. Oh yeah, that's that's the stat spread that you want. Because what this is, well, you'll see it in a second. It's a hand cannon by the look of it. What it is is something that I like. Don't let them near the female. Understood. There you go, sticky gun. Oh, it's your needler. It's like a needler, but it's just a plasma grenade. It is so fucking dumb. I love it. This is the kind of sci-fi gun that I want more of. I like it when you have sci-fi guns where that kind of thing is the alt fire. Yeah. Like, I love the shock rifle in, in Unreal Tournament. See, while we're talking about Unreal Tournament, uh, my favorite is the flat cannon. The shock rifle is second only to the flat cannon in my heart. Boom! Because the shock rifle is just a battle rifle, but it also has the ridiculous thing that it does. So it can be as versatile and as wacky as you want it to be. Yeah, I think... Um... I think the flat cannon for me is my favorite just because of the amount of different options that you have. Like, there's never a situation in which it's not useful, but also, if you just want it to be a dumb thing that ricochets things off of the side of buildings, it does that, and it's wacky and fun to use. Or if you just want it to be a shotgun that paces people at point-blank range, it's that too. Yes. It is, dare I say, the best video game shotgun ever made. That's interesting. Maybe. You got a better answer? I would have to think about it. Can't take much more. I'm not your problem, Commander. <laughs> you don't know me. Dude, you're kind of the I'd galaxy's like problem. Hang in there. How many more checkpoints? I am Just the, the most here. invested oh, in this mission that I have been in the entire yeah, game up to this point. I'll see you up there. Yeah. Which is saying a lot. I'm I'm invested in the plot behind this mission. I could not be less invested in the mission. What are you talking about? You're having fun with this little uh, sticky grenade gun of yours. You better believe I'm gonna keep this damn gun for the whole game. Cause it's it's so good. Just a jelly maker. And I think it goes well with our shotgun. It does. Gives you a long range option. Totally. If you can read those projectiles. I'm I'm on my way, Rex. Unfortunately. Oh god. Oh yeah, it's time. Yeah, it's time for the ladders and the It's the jump, I think. I don't know why the jump bothers me so much, but it really does. Because it's just a little Zelda jump, but it's also, like, the fact that they have to put an arrow on it is hilarious. Oh god, that looks so bad! Look at this! Fuck. Oh, you oh, you're see? running out of time. Did you see what happened to the uh, to Metallica? No. It's so good. Uh, Metallica... What happened with Metallica? I know, I know, Morden. Uh, Metallica was invited to do like a Twitch live stream concert, and live on stream they got like muted by just generic 8-bit music because they got DMCA'd in the middle of their own thing they were invited to. And it's like, hey, yeah, Lars, guess Napster seems like it was a bad idea from the beginning, doesn't it? You fucking sell out, jackass. And it's, it's just this clip that's been going around on Twitch of like, uh, of everybody just like headbanging and doing their thing. And it's just do, 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 do. 
I like fighting these mechs in this game. They Man, for something that seemingly fell out of space, it didn't make much of an impact. I'm sorry, are you referring to Mass Effect 3? So what if I am? That's not even fair. Actually, Mass Effect 3 had a huge impact, it was just a terrible impact. Yeah, it just wasn't a good one. Oh, no worries. I'm on it. So, yeah, these guys are, are different from the Ymir mechs. The Atlas mechs have a, um, a cockpit that you can just bust through. Is somebody else shooting me? No, it's just him. Uh, they have a, a cockpit that you can bust through. They have a couple of different exactly modes of, of attack. And they also have that turbine on their back, which is an additional weak point. But both How do you ways. know if flash damage even counts towards the weak point? Uh... I don't. Interesting. How do I know? I don't. Let's see what we got here. Probably use that pistol, right? Yeah, pistol seems like a... Just unload into the, the Death Star style exhaust port. There are still more enemies left. Advise caution. God, even the explosion is, like, weak compared to the one in two, right? Really, it just kind of falls apart. Two was like a full-on, like, mushroom cloud, and it ruined your microphone for, like, a, a while. It would blow up and you would just hear crackling for like 30 seconds. Whereas this one is just like... And then it's done. Okay. You empty the thing from my far and it's just like... Pretty much. Come on in, Rex. We're happy to have you, man. Don't... Please don't cause any diplomatic incidents. We've had enough of those. For You're now. trying really hard. Just do a little. So time. how does this how does this play out if Rex dies on Vermeer? Let's make this quick. Um, if Rex dies on Vermeer, this is a different person. Let's get you out of there. You, you get some differences in dialogue. Uh, you get significantly less flavor text, I believe, and, and like, incidental dialogue. Uh, and it's just, like, another Krogan that I think you've met. Oh, oh. In Mass Effect 2, I instead of Clan Erdnot. Hell yeah! Women. Hell yeah! That's great. Instead of uh, Rex leading Clan Erdnot, it's another Krogan Rebellion leader. And he is... Like, um, he's the one that shows up in this game, I believe. So it's still a character that you know, but we don't know him on this stream. Hmm. I'm surprised that there was enough of you left over, considering how many Honestly. of you were just... <laughs> ka -chunk. Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If and I the Solarians, if they Krogan, let me. The Turians promised yeah. me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. They try to the stop me, I guess. To something. He sets they him up and we knock him bay. down. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. Zoom in. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. 
Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge. But I'm just saying it's going to be really contrived. Elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. Don't think yes, about it too hard. Good, hack it out. Never doubt it as long as you play the multiplayer. You can do this, Shepard. With a subscription of $19.99 a month to Xbox Live, gold, you too can save the Crucible. Ah, uh, the Crucible's... I am of two minds on the Crucible, because on one hand it sucks, it's such a deus ex machina, but on the other hand, because it was not supposed to exist and they had to write it in at the literal last second, they do a damn good job of, like, the entirety of 3 is pretty much justification at the last minute for how this thing fits into the canon. I commend them for being able to do it, but they shouldn't have had to do you it. Have the female Rex. A cure for the it's a good effort. People can come later. It is a good that effort. My problems with the Crucible are not that the Crucible is bad, it's that the Crucible exists. Unless every Krogan gets the cure, there's no alliance. You guys talking about genocide? Gordon, how long will it take to finish a cure? Need to synthesize base antigen from female. Also requires healthy male Krogan tissue. We'll need a sample. You're looking at it. Acceptable. We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. Well, we did fire that cook, so... Formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morton. Can you do it? Of course. Oh, Similar yeah. Similar to a genophage modification project. I'm a goddamn Morton genius, Shepard. Morton this time. Not as simple as garbage DNA blocking attachment sites. We'll need to counteract shutdown of redundant nervous system, adjust neurotransmitter levels. Got it. We'll create cure, Shepard. Don't need to worry. You do what you can, man. Then get started, Morton, and make it quick. Always do. We'll be in med bay if you'd like to speak more. Eve requires tests. I would like to talk to you more. Eve? Female's real name unknown. Normandy, a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under circumstances. Suggest speaking with her. New perspective. Surprising in Krogan. I would love to talk to both of you. I guess that makes uh, yeah, Rex Adam in a way. There's a small matter Maybe. concerning a yeah. ship we've lost contact with. What happened? Less ribs than Vault, though. Discuss it. Krogan have like 45 ribs, is the Turian thing. problems can't even come close to what I've got. What do you got? What is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss somewhere else. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. This Turian's not wearing pink. We don't talk to him if he's not wearing pink. Okay, uh, Rex? What's up, man? Hell of a show down there on Sir Kesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Uh-huh. Your presence did help. one of your squads is missing. It made me feel better. They were scouting out the Rachni Relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. No shit. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. The Rachni are supposed to be it's gone. Big. Don't tell me they're or back. Or good. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. We had a deal. I our Arlac company, my best unit yeah. on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll do it. Do. Fucking do it. Get on it, Shepard. Oh, good. This is what I like to see. Uh, so, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Outside of, like story NPCs that you pick up and you get to have a conversation or two like this on the Normandy, these kinds of dialogue wheels kind of don't show up in this game. So I appreciate them when we can get them. What will you do after well, the let's is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time we'll be different. Glad to hear it. A lot of people will be relieved to hear that. No one wants to repeat history. They know we'd probably win this time. But war has never brought us anything except misery. It's time to focus on rebuilding. That's pretty progressive of you, Rex. What's the situation back on Tachanka? 
I'm still getting scattered reports of Reaper forces arriving. Something big is brewing. I won't let those things take Tuchanka. Not when we're about to cure the genophage. My people have had enough bad luck in our time. Tell me more about the female Krogan. Back on Sir Kesh, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. Our females don't lack for spirit. For males, a good show of force sorts things out. But females like to talk about it. Then think about it. Then talk about it some more. No offense. Believe it or not, we sometimes have good ideas, Rex. You should try listening. Yeah, but our women have so many of them. So sometimes I pretend to listen and... Well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers too. Oh, not much has changed, huh? How could there be trouble I think with the we're more alike than you think. They're all but extinct. The last queen promised to disappear Some forever, languages are universal. I know, mm -hmm. I was there. Like Galactic I Basic. I had a feeling about this. It may not be Rachni, but maybe it is. Could be another invasion. If they're crawling out from under some rock, you know how bad it could get. We need to stop them. Yo, speaking of rocks, I don't know if it's just the texture work, but Krogan teeth kind of just look like stone. That's it for now, it Rex. could be. Let's you don't know. Work. Anytime. Maybe it says somewhere in the Codex. I like what you've done with Maybe Norman. it does. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I'm glad you I like it, Rex. A window like Liara does, but it's progress. Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? Sorry, Shepard. You might have thought after Mass Effect 2 and its introduction of like more than 10 different party members that you might be building up your team and bringing people back in. I sure hope that you're ready to have like six people on your team for the whole game. And one of them is James, and one of them is Edie. And one of them is Ashley. Man. Yeah. So, that's actually my biggest problem with the game overall. Like, more than the beginning of the game, more than the ending of the game, the thing that bums me out so much about 3 is the fact that you don't get to hang out with almost any of the characters that you want to outside of like two missions. It's fucked up. Let's head to the Krogan DMZ. The more I see of this, the more I understand why people consider Mass Effect 2 to be the best game in the series. Yes, I... Because it's like, it's such a... Aside from a couple of the people that you get to meet, and, and I want to I wanna take a, a, a trip down to the crew deck and talk to Eve and talk to Morden because they're great characters. Aside from occasional moments like that, Mass Effect 3 is just a giant oh, Krogan, failure to yeah, match up to the promise of the 1 and 2. Almost like Krogan. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. Ah, Shepard. We were just... Hey, what's up? Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. The venom in that rhyme read is, like, palpable. What's that? <laughs> yeah. Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the Simple? genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. Hey, come on, Rex. Morden's cool. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's released my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. We're all invested. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. 
I really appreciate fear of needles. That we oh god. Or Solarian doctors. That's awesome. Now have work to do. Prefer females of the species. The idea that Rex is afraid of needles is incredible. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's really super cool to see Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2 crew members actually interacting. Doing my best to keep you alive will avoid sensitive subjects. Hey, Eve. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now, but perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. We actually met a uh, Krogan shaman in two. Oh, that's interesting yeah. to me. A female that was shaman. when we headbutted that guy. Yeah, that was a good headbutt. I didn't realize the Krogan had female headbutt. shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the Genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How does that happen? How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. That does sound brutal. That's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. We couldn't a model crystal, it. But it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. Sounds brutal. Tell me about Rex. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Will he seek revenge? No. Tell me about the other clans. I want to know all about the culture, honestly. I Why would the do. other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And that, you can tell him. Do you think Rex will want revenge for the genophage? Some clans will expect it. But I hope Rex doesn't exists. seem like Rex anymore. He understands the cycle of Not violence anymore. must end if Krogan are ever that was have two a voice games in galactic ago. politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. Honestly, Rex is Rex doesn't get a whole lot of uh, play for like the amount of character development that he's gone through between the games because he's changed quite a bit from damn near trying to kill us on Vermeer to basically being the second coming for his species. Pretty much. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a thresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. And after? How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? 
Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. <laughs> Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence. Excuses to earn them honor. Yeah, that's what happens when you accidentally halt an entire species, like, genetic progress, I suppose. How'd you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Weirlock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Hmm. Malin is a rough hope to have. I found Malin's lab. Uh, honestly. Look like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Salarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. Damn. How has Morden been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Salarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to Telomere's premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. That would be a damn interesting yeah, conversation. My sisters and I changed yeah. something in him. A sorry Borgia offspring have an allergy to dairy and... <laughs> Well, I'm glad they keep that. Yeah, the Patter songs are good shit. Thanks for talking to me. Eve is awesome. Pleasure, Commander. I'm glad to see humans treat their women with respect. Your people have placed a lot of responsibility on you. No more than your people have put on you. I kind of can't believe <laughs> that we've we gone through the men how it's done. literally this long Deal. without seeing... Because keep in mind, we've just seen uh, a female Krogan. We have not seen... Uh, Female Turian, female anybody else, really. Uh, yeah. We've seen, we've quote unquote seen uh, female Corians, but that's about it, right? And yeah. Asari, of course, but Asari are ubiquitous in their gender, so it's like. There's still so much ground left untread. Shepard, blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Malin's data thorough. Fortunately, detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect, health trouble. And that helps? You think you can make this work for all, Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well. Tune hormone production. Long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. How do you feel about it? So we did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachanka? Monstrous. Repulsive. But now with purpose. Victims didn't die for nothing. So the end justifies the means. Not my means. But you're using the data. Encouraging more experiments like Malin's. Mm. Encouragement irrelevant. He's doing what he can with the resources available. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure Genophage. Even if the no shit that you're using is because of unethical origins. Like on a, yeah, unethical origins don't necessarily mean that can't be used and at least as far as Morden cares about it, right? Well, what Any about Malin? Malin himself? Oh, he's dead. No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing. There's so no way Morden's Large not. Uh, Malin's not fucking dead. Could already be dead for all we know. Would kill him now if possible, unless he could help. I very much assume that he's dead. How's she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion somewhat different. Friends, huh? You care about her. My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. 
She said, please. Aw, that's all it takes. You always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never changed mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Progen support. Progen need unified threat. Outlet for aggression. Cooperative symbiosis. <laughs> what could be a bigger threat? Nothing else. No personal stake here. Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left. But still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Possibly. Stakes too high for inexperience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. I understand. There's a lot of that going around on our team, Morgan. honestly. Thank you, Shepard. Yeah. Glad to be back. We've all Can done some bad shit. Until Reapers dealt with at least. We should all probably try sure. to make good with the time we have left. The galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure, work against collectors, decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. You go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. Oh. Well, let's let's fight for Morden. Let's try and get him that beachfront property. Edie's fight here. for seashells for Morden. Fight for seashells. Oh God, they should just like that pops up in the middle of your inventory as your next uh, or your your codex, your journal. It's like a, it's like defeat Ganon. Fight for seashells. Fight for Morden. Fight for seashells. Oh, right, the Cerberus activity. Ah, oh, shit. No, I'm gonna do... Listen, I kind of want to do plot first. Ah, uh, we'll do Cerberus later. How does that sound? Does that sound okay to you? Yeah, sure, do whatever you want. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna try and go through some Turian survivors, but first... Scarred by bombardment craters, radioactive rubble, choking ash, salt flats, and alkaline seas, Tuchanka can barely support life. Thousands of years ago, thousands of years ago, life grew in fierce abundance under the F-class star Aralach, a Reich clan word meaning Eye of Wrath. Tree analogs grew in thick jungles, their roots growing out of shallow, silty seas. Life fed upon life in an evolutionary crucible. This world died in nuclear firestorms after the Krogan split the atom. A little ice age of Krogan, Krogan nuclear- fuck! Of nuclear winter killed off much of the remaining plant life. In recent centuries, many Krogan have returned to their homeworld. They were- Is this literally copy-pasted from Mass Effect 2? I'm pretty sure it is. Holy shit! God damn it. I didn't even realize that- okay. Uh, the last time that I played this game, I played it with the, um, with the, uh, EGM, the Expanded Galaxy mod, and one of the uh -huh. things that that does is it, like, gives more flavor text to the things going on in the world. I assumed that that was just part of the game. I am, that's, like, astonishingly lazy. They couldn't have written, like, a little bit more about fucking Tachanka? Shit, man. It doesn't even matter what we get. Just auto-level up. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? It don't matter. None of this matters. This crash site's a nightmare. This game's a nightmare. Right about Reaper Scouts. Edie, any further intel? The mission brief identifies the Turian commander. As Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. Victus? Primarch's son. Huh. Try to raise him. For a Turian commander, what happened here is... Let's just say the Turian code is not forgiving. And that it's his son is bad for the Primarch. Promoting family without merit can bite you in the ass. What's strange is the Primarch knows that. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. That the best you can do? Yes, ma'am, but the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. I would hope Let's so. Let's save this platoon. Landing with the Reapers knowing that we're here sounds like a good way to get the game ending in, like, 20 minutes. Or less. Okay. Did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. 
This is Commander Shepard oh God. of the Alliance Navy. Her fingers are going straight into her temple. Also, the floor is electrified. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. That was fast. Got it. He's real. He's in real trouble. This sounds bad. Let's move. I really wanted him to fire the flare, and it's like one of those Animal Crossing flares, and it's like a. It's just one of the random designs that you've chosen to make. Like it pops up and it's a big smiley face. Yeah. This sure is Tuchanka. Ugh. All right. How about uh, one of these? Oh, come on. Right over him. Just let the shotgun work its magic. Don't worry about it. I feel like, uh... I feel like this is gonna Escape. be a thing. Our first like me trying to use this grenade over and over and over again. And then a harvester it might already be. It probably already is. Died in the explosion? Or dragged out and eaten by Picking husks. up auditory evidence of conflict. Oh? I have a visual on the enemy. God, the amount of times this game, like, cuts itself off like in the middle of shots is ridiculous. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Surprise on our side. For it really I feels like, like it did not get exactly. very go. many passes over for quality. You know what I mean? QA bad. We know this. Like, the game was rushed, but you can see it most in moments like that. And just, like... Watch as things fall apart on screen. Mm hmm In in little ways. Over here. Because the big ways generally either don't happen or they're of such a like a magnitude that it's like you understand why. But when you see a game fuck up in little ways consistently over and over and over again for 30 hours, you're like, oh. Oh, they didn't have time. The cannibals are neat in that they will eat each other, the, they will eat the dead bodies of each other to uh, get back up to a buffed strength level. But also I got this thing. This is riveting. Makes for such great TV. I like that we get to fight dragons, but at the same time. Thank you. Don't stop for us. We'll head for the main crash site. There's another pod ahead. All right, every, guys, come on. I can only move on so many directions. Oh, hey, nobody died. We did good. Good job. We did Keep well. Moving. We even. need to find the main crash site ASAP. Nobody died so except for Zaid. It's a big military name on Palavan. War's expected to run in the victor's blood. Hey, also, here's something that I want to talk about while we're talking about people that have died. Peer groups are a more important factor in determining behavior. Sure, but you can't yeah. shame a village for raising a bad kid, Edie. One of the reasons that people are so down on Diana Allers is because... You remember Emily Wong? She was one I remember of the name. Emily Wong was one of the reporters that we kept seeing throughout Mass Effect 1 and 2. Right. Not Al Jelani, but the other one. Right. Um, she died Looks off screen like uh, on a Twitter post. Because in the lead up to Mass Effect 3, they basically had, um, like, war comms opening up and being like, oh, this is what the situation is like in London and uh, on Earth. And, kind of like an ARG, but shitty. Yeah, and one of the ways that that manifested was just, oh, Emily Wong is dead. Sorry. And instead, yeah, we get Jessica Chobot from uh, IGN. Just like, oh, that just seems like brash. 
not okay. That would be like uh, Shiala or, you know, somebody from Zoo's Hope showing up and then they die on Twitter. Because it's like, it's not anywhere in the game as far as I'm aware. I don't think you can come across that information. I might be wrong, like there might be a little bit of flavor text somewhere. Days. Come this way. But for a character that appears in two of the three games to die off screen on social media is... I don't like it. Over here. It's very Come weak. This way. What this way? Shepard here. What's your status? Commander, what's your ETA? Hang tight. We're on our way. That's not an ETA. Arnick, how's our velocity? Deceleration online. We'll survive. Victus is going to pay for this. Court martial or hanging? How's Victus going to live this down? When we find him, we'll ask. Yeah, Victus is fucked up. Victus appears to have done everything wrong. I don't think we've actually heard a single good thing about Victus yet. Not yet. Maybe never. Shepard here. Understood. Weeroom. Sorry, that's a very... Uh... Oh god. Full screen effect. It's a very... Oh, god. I'm trying to formulate my thoughts, and all I'm getting is that feeling that I got when we tried to play Resident <laughs> Evil 6. And it's just like, everything is so... happening. And it's all... It's all sick. It's just a big sick. Edie? How'd you get there? Edie? Well, it's a good thing that we specced into teleportation for Edie. Otherwise, that would have seemed like an awkward bug. Good thing. Another grenade. Come on, guy. Edie. Edie's just going all over the place. Edie is like showing up in uh Edie's like teleporting around like the like the G-Man at the end of those games. Just like you turn the camera and suddenly he's 90 degrees in the other direction. Yeah, that's how that works. Okay. Might be time to turn invisible. Yeah. Just a thought. <laughs> oh, shit. We need to get out of here. If only we could use that Eevee power. We, too, could fly away. Fly so far away. To a better game. To a better time. I guess the weak spot on the Harvester is supposed to be the head. But it seems like it would be that thing, right? <clears throat> Maybe it is. Maybe it doesn't matter because of your choice of weapon. Maybe. Oh no, Garrus is dead. Garrus. Get up, buddy. Okay. Let's pick it up. It's important we don't lose this squad. I am trying to understand the emotions and politics that would motivate the Turians to refuse Krogan's support. Krogan Turian animosity is ancient and intense. It's inborn. And I need them to work together, so let's not complicate things. Excuse me while I just awkwardly try and keep everybody in frame like it's uh, the directional mic from MGS2. Oh god. I'm trying to keep, like, the camera, like, relatively smooth so that it's not awful, and it's just, it's fighting me. There are so few options for moving around in a way that don't look terrible. It plays I got fine. a normal idea. Just play the fucking game and don't worry about it. That's what I would do. 
person. That's the kind of person that oh I am. Oh my god! Did you see that shit? I sure did. I don't think I can impress upon you how much I'm just kind of trying to play the game. Because to me, the fact that the camera looks terrible makes it bad to play. Right? Like, that's something that I don't like. It's less, a, it's less like a footage thing and more just like I, I'm having trouble parsing what's on the screen a lot of the time. That makes more sense. And there's no way to not do that because that's just how the game plays. Because it's supposed to be like a Twitch reaction cover. Oh my god! I was oh, sitting that's still! Not, that's not ideal. I wasn't moving, man! I'll say this for Mass Effect 3. Yeah? These converted death units are really cool. Or, Damn. you know, Reaper, Harvest, whatever you want to call them. I don't know where Geth came from. Totally. Well, the they Geth look a bit Gethy. Well, the Geth were created by the, the Quarians. Yeah. They're just And then that's They're like a whole other Roombas. thing. Yeah. The Reapers huskify things and make them all blue yeah. and trawny. But also, like... Made of bits. Yeah, made of bits and all bulgy. They're like, uh... They're like walking prolapses in Tron. I wish you hadn't said that. Yeah, well... I wish you would have said something else instead. I thought about it, and I was like, well, no, because... Come on, that's that's what the cannibals are, at the very least. I'll accept that. I won't be happy about it, but I'll accept it. God, I thought... What the... What are you... What are... Can she cloak? I think she can cloak. Here's the thing. There is an enemy type later on in the game who does teleport around, and it's, like, a really big deal when they show up. And I thought that it was her. Because she's just popping in and out of places. Even when the game is like functioning at its strengths and it's like, yeah man, combat all the time. I'm just like, oh god, my fucking eyes. Done. Oh! That's a good explosion. That is a good explosion. That's a, that's a little bit closer to that mech explosion that I wanted. Alright, come on. Marauder shield! Oh, it didn't matter. I just had to get over- it didn't matter. I wish I would have known that earlier. Matter. I can't believe it just doesn't fucking matter. Lieutenant Victus? Can't you, though? Commander Shepard. My men and I are in your debt. You got some explaining to do, man. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. And don't get so close to the camera. It can't handle it. Lieutenant, what's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack, and my men paid the price. Uh, what exactly happened? You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy, and that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Yeah, it's not really your fault. I mean, that's just kind of the nature of it. Owning your mistake takes guts, but you have to get over it and move on. Of course. People are gonna die it's under your command one way or another. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. 
What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. Did you? A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Of course they do. If God Cerberus damn it. that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? It's going to be worth it's nothing if you don't do your job. The to ask for, but your men signed on for it, and so did you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? Kick their asses. What's wrong with you? Inspire them, threaten them. Lieutenant, if Cerberus succeeds, the Reapers divide and conquer us. And then that is on them. What's go What's wrong with your face? Listen up. I this was gonna be like, yo, Jen Hale is really kicking ass fears. with this line, and then They're I saw her face, and I was, now I'm people. a believer. Irrelevant. Court martial death and dishonor awaits anyone who balks at his duty. We are Turian. We finish what we came here to do, or we die trying. Shuttles arrive any minute, so get your asses in gear. Let's move! Now would be not. Through the head! Come with us. We're a shell of oh, one. Come on. We could use the help. Like, send me the nap point. I'll I'm trying to treat it seriously, and That'll it's give just us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. It's just Make cannibalizing it itself. Here. Make their sacrifice count. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. <laughs> oh, so the. God, it's it's ride to hell retribution, but in space in some ways. What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place in the Celtic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is, we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. Oh, jeez. We gotta go kill some oh, more human supremacists. Victims. Impressive work on Tuchanka. I'm grateful that... Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? Yes! That's the point of bringing you on board! Why would I jeopardize our alliance you by idiot. to you now? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't Decisions make like sense. Decisions like heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. And? And... And that's all. Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son. Don't worry about it. He seems like an idiot, but you're welcome. Shepard, What's up, Morton? Verified. Results promising. Can synthesize for universal Krogan immunity. Good. Then you can put your knife away. The cure's ready? No, still need transmission vector. Cure useless, unless given to entire species. You're usually full of ideas, Morden. You altered the genophage before. There must be a way. Of course, always possibilities. But time limited. Can't create new infection strain from scratch. Groundwater? No, too slow. Voluntary inoculation risky. Population too scattered for airborne. Unless... Wait, yes! Hmm? The shroud. Constant global dispersion of air particles, built by Salarians to repair atmosphere of Tuchanka. Ah! More technology. Also it's a big, like, planetary room we purifier. Secretly spread the I was gonna say planetary bomb. Ended the or, or that. Man, we really are too... They're coming at this from two different directions here, huh? <laughs> Sometimes I understand why the Krogan want to shoot everyone in sight. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Those were desperate times. That's right, buddy! Yes, yes, but useful now. Original that's, uh, that's K9 on the Normandy, by the way. Facility. Yeah. Then use it as transmission vector. Then you shroud to blanket to Chanka with cure. You clever little pie jack. That's our best shot, right there. Then finish your preparations and be ready to go, Morden. 
Of I was thinking of like one of those Glade plugins that you put in the wall, right? I know just, exactly what you're talking about. But just for the whole thing. every once in a while. Every once in a while, it's just like... Like, if anything, the fucking Crucible is a giant bong. Like, look at this thing. It, it looks like one, but is it the same functionally? Well, that's the and thing. I think the, answer, I think the answer is no. Nobody... But if it was yes, that would be pretty cool. Where if you're interested in learning more about uh, you're space interested bong. in learning more about how the crucible works, um, we would like to we would like to push you towards uh, our website, in which you too can support the Codex entries, as the Codex is run due in part uh, thanks to the the generosity of viewers like you. Oh man. All right, we got three of them. Okay, we we got we got a, we got a ways. Also, how about this? Just straight up, cure the genophage. It's a hell of a mission prompt. I'll say. What 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 did you want from me, trainer? What's up, Commander? I found something while scanning Alliance channels. It could be important. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. Okay, I know what's there. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension Project is the best training facility in the galaxy for human biotics. Yes, there's All right, a young then. man named David Archer there. Oh, boy. I'm just surprised there's That's where up. David Archer... That's right. Some of their work has we got support. him out of that the hands of his brother. Stayed. I'd yeah. like to help them. We, we, we should help them. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call, so normally I'd say we don't need to do anything. But since everyone has been dying symbol, left and right, it seems we're the only ones who can do damn near anything. Fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a Are you telling ship? me that Cerberus is attacking In schools? Event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy is being evacuated, but I believe they're still in danger. Good job, trainer. Good catch. Maybe you belong here after all. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer, good catch. Thank you, Commander. Oh, man. Yeah, all right. Cerberus is attacking literal children. Oh, boy. Freaky space magic children. Freaky space children. Freaky ghost bomb. Freaky ghost bed. I ain't scared no genophage. God damn it, I was just about to say that. How dare you. How about Liara? How about Liara and Garrus this time? How about that? Sounds good. Get the old crew back together. At least somewhat, anyway. Uh, do we want to do something different from the scorpion this time? Try the uh, the Xbox 360 Skull Pistol. Oh yeah, the Gears of War. Yeah. They should just call this thing the Gear of War. They should. They could call it the Marcus or the Phoenix, and it would be fine. They can't call it the. That's Dom. your Desert Eagle. Yeah, you can't call it the Dom because that's a very different thing. Well, then you would have to have the sub. You... And it begs, what it if begs you... the question, is the Normandy amphibious? I was going to say, what if you had a submachine gun that was called the Dawn? We hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. Also, there's probably... This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. I don't Look know. Look to set your platoon down. I don't know if the, if the Normandy would work the underwater. Bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's... Turian. What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago, after the Krogan rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. That's clever, Brutal, but fucked up. But it makes a certain kind of sense. Put yeah, the totally. Down hard if they tried anything. That's a very Turian thing to say. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Couldn't trust the Krogan to play nice. But right now we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Means all Strategically like great, morally right. bad. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. 
Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The ninth platoon will cover your flank, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. We won't. Copy that, Lieutenant. Don't worry. We got another, like, hour and 20 to fill. I'm sure we will be fine. Here, put us over by all that waist-high cover. Let's go. Let's move it. Convenient. Also, hey, Tuchanka looks great. Keep your heads down. Tuchanka does look great. You should try that there gun. Holy shit. That's pretty good. Hey, guess I think I'm gonna keep this gun. If only because that sound is incredible. I... The only thing that I don't like about it is how they go down so fast that they disappear from my scope. I want to see them, like, be pushed back, you know what I mean? You want them to go flying. We all do. Oh. Fair enough. Oh yeah, no, that's just one and done. It sounds like it's a... Oh, oh, Jesus, this is so much. The mortars are a bit much over here. It's visually overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah, no, this this whole... Oh, get out of there. God, that looks so bad. I was gonna say, a big problem with like the presentation in this game is... Yeah, visually overwhelming, I would say. Um, how about you get knocked over, you get singularityed, and I go invisible. Yeah. That's what I call a tactical cloak. You love to not see it. That's right. And now you. Excuse me, sir. That's such a satisfying sound. Shepard, we need to keep moving. It sucks that it's a DLC gun. Once we reach the bomb, I'll yeah. Need to reprogram the trigger mechanism. At least if I had bought this, I would have felt like I... I would have felt like I got something for it, you know what I mean? I wouldn't feel bad about having bought- I would feel bad about having bought this gun, but I would be able to accept it because it's fun to use. If anything, I kind of- You got a, a blade for your shotgun. Yeah, I saw that. If anything, the one thing that I would want is to get rid of the skull on the gun and paint it something else. I think the skull is a bit much. It screams DLC. Oh man, are we gonna make it? You never make it. Yeah, we're Let's gonna see. You can't make it. We're fine. I cannot believe that we survived that, but we did. We got we got a hacking, and we got a warp. I guess warp it. Good shit. What? What is happening? Oh, I'm getting shields through the wall. Okay. They have little, uh, shield generators that they put on the ground. And they will just, like, passively give anybody shields that walks by them. Until you blow them up. So, how about instead... We set you on fire. There we go. And now, switch to this one. There we go. That'll do just fine. So, here's my thing. Uh, I was saying before, not only is this a Gears of War gun, but... When you fire it, that sound kind of- it sounds like gears are turning. To you know me, I mean? it sounds like the barrel is rattling. That's what I hear. Okay. Extreme, but 
Those were desperate times. After all this, to lose everything in a flash, it's monstrous. It's also an interesting concept is like, it's fucked up that the Turians placed a giant bomb on Tuchanka. It makes sense, but it's fucked up. But at the same mm -hmm. time, that's kind of what they've been doing to each other, like, over and over and over again. <laughs> Good work, Lieutenant. It's like some real spy versus spy bullshit. Well, you know, you think the reason that Tuchanka is the way it is is because every couple of years, the Krogan just blow it up again and start from scratch. Yeah. But supposedly this bomb is big enough to just get rid of Tuchanka. See, that's kind of how I knew. Is when Victor said... There's a bomb on the planet. I'm like, hmm. Copy that. Hmm. A certain sense of scale has been invoked, wouldn't you say? Yeah. I like the idea of a planet cracker, though. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we like Dead Space. Does Dead Space have, like, a bomb that blows up an entire planet? I don't know if it's a bomb, but it's like... A miner. It is... Well, how do you think miners mine? With explosives. No, 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 no. You get, I don't like the sound you get that. Edie to tell you that there's a thing, and then you just hover your mouse over... Oh my god. That was fucked up. Good job, Liara. Uh, you, you, you hover your mouse over it in circles for a little while, and then she says something quippy. That's how you mine. No, I did like four hours of it. Cerberus is leaving. Mm. Cerberus is leaving over my dead body. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, I like that. I like that there's a combo. This is why you need that knife. We'll you do need that knife. Agreed. Let's go. That get him? Yeah, that got. So that thing is just accurate forever, it looks like. As well it should be. Paid fucking 480 Bioware points or whatever for it. Which is not a joke, by the way. It's lit. The currency is Bioware points. I can't believe it remained undetected for so long. It must have been far enough underground to stay hidden. Cerberus had to dig it out. I hope Victus knows what he's doing. Oh, don't do that. Why, you don't like that? We gotta move, Shepard. Commander, we're entering the bomb site. Moving it's a feature. Station. It's Run not a back. bug. We're on our way. Oh god. Come on. Come on, game. Oh, no. I hate it. I Time hate for our favorite. I hate the way that this game does everything? Like, yeah, but like movement we're across so the ground the is just terrible. Clear. I don't think so. I'm guessing they'll bring out the big gun. Because it's like, okay, if I'm going slowly, it looks awkward because this is not how people move. Like this right here, this is a good example. People don't move like this. But if I'm not running, even... if I'm running, the animation looks terrible and I can't move the mouse enough to get like fast movement. And also you just kind of do shit like this. Like, top to bottom, the game just looks like garbage. It's like the opposite of a Rockstar game. You know how they're like, uh, super animation focused to the point that it ruins gameplay? Mm -hmm. This is like, super Looks movement like focused to the point that it just turrets. becomes garbage to look at. No good now, but they might be useful later. I know what I would rather have, to tell you the truth. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Like, Damn it. Cerberus has a head start. I appreciate how fast we are in the game. I just really wish that it didn't look like it is breaking. Cerberus set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism to slow us down. At least it's not Mass Effect 1. That'll That's true. Time. But like you said, no trigger, no explosion. Are you sure you can disarm the trigger? Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. Don't screw this up. 
You have one chance at redemption. I put my team at risk to get you here, Lieutenant. You better deliver. I know what's at stake, Commander. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. Oh. Well, I guess we're getting into it. Oh, no. Look out! Commander! Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. I kind of can't believe he didn't get shot right there. Honestly. Like, who has those two in their sights and are aiming for Nobody Victus and Clear. can't hit Victus from, like, whatever whatever vantage point they have? How is us going down here stopping the sniper? Protect him! You know what? I, that, that, that's what I'm oh, trying no. to... Oh no, is that the script? It's just flying all... Yeah, see? You got all these little white particles all over the... Those are just the pages. Or what's left of them. Also, this face right here is really good. <laughs> I want that as the thumbnail. You know, I've gone through the trouble of trying to make those thumbnails look really nice. And I think when it comes to Mass Effect 3... I'm just gonna start, like, zooming in on JPEGs. Because, fucking... They didn't put very much effort into making this- Look at- okay, look at that! They didn't put very much effort into making this game look nice. <laughs> they fall down, like, a brick. It's just so immediate. It's- it's a comedy beat. A crumple, you might say. Because there's no- like, there's no projectile. It's just- ka and they're dead. Okay, how about Singularity? Oh boy, alright. This is awkward. See you guys later. Where is my you should team? Use the, you should use those heals that you got. I should use those heals that I've got. I'm just like, where is my team? I guess I'm not supposed to be this far into like the enemy's zone. Right? There's no AI nodes here. There are no AI nodes. Did you say nerd? I miss MGS2. I really miss MGS2. Hydra missile launch? Oh, it's just a codex engine. Oh wait, no, I have it. All right, time for missiles. Time for missile. Yeah, all right, one and done. Fine. That's just a problem solver. You down. Hey, Liara, I've got an idea. Yeah. That's pretty good. Nice. And they're all just... Ooh. Uh, that's some good shit. It's not quite getting struck by lightning in the middle of a firestorm or whatever. But it's pretty good. Just disintegrating as you fly into the skybox. Alright, I, I think we've done it. I'm in. Spirits! Cerberus hacked the trigger mechanism. It's set to Disarm it! I'm sorry, say that again? The game cuts you we off. Have to separate the trigger from the bomb. Now! Cover me! Our armor is just the most garish thing. I love it. It was a good idea. It's just like... It's like somebody unwrapped a ring pop in the middle of the battlefield. Go, 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 Victus.
Look upon your crimes. See what you have done. See all that you have wrought. Just go back down the way you came. Yeah, like that is a ladder. Oh no. Lieutenant! Victory. At any cost. Oh, you hate to see it. Yeah. I'm sorry. That was a comedy beat. Oh. It was just so. Just like, it's like, oh man, maybe he made it. You think he's okay? Shatter coming in from Krogan Forces planet side? Sounds like they started sweeping out the remaining Cerberus troops. Hate to be the guy who told the Krogan about that surprise package. Did you get out all right? Sounds like it got ugly down there. We're fine. Tarians took a lot of casualties, Joker. Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. He never hesitated. Whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. What will the Turians think about this, Garrus? Hard to say. Sacrifice and more is expected. He did us proud, but we're a hard bunch to please. Living your life for the cause. Society first, platoon first. It's all just expected. He did what he had to do when it counted. Yes. Yes, he did. Maybe it'll override his failure. Heroic sacrifice. It probably will. That's Good usually how that Joker, works. Commander. If you Still die you well, usually, the yeah. The Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering. Don't worry, sir. I don't know how to do division. That Turians won't be a problem. Recovery crews to help. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. We don't have a solid Baby, alliance between Baby, you got a stew yet. going. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. Alright, totally. Well, let's be mediator. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The Genophage wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my planet? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey. Yes, line? You're both wrong. We need to move on. You're not both wrong, actually. We need to move on. We can't let the past rip us apart. Working together, we have a chance. Primark, you had a bomb on Tachanka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard. It's over. His own son died today making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. Just please don't do your Bioware angry face so close to the camera. I understand your reservations before, Commander, but I hope you now understand the secrecy. This was a mess. You guys botched this pretty bad. You kept this a secret and then put your son in charge? He couldn't handle it. Yes. You're right, Commander. It was a mistake not to trust you. I know that now. My son, he died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Well. Yes, look. sir. Oh, God. Commander, Admiral Stop. Is Stop. Let's go talk to David Anderson. Here, okay, before I click this button, can I just, can I posit an idea to you? Okay. 
imagine how much easier this would be to take seriously if like all of the characters were not humans because every time because bioware does aliens really well and humans not so much right like every time a turian or a krogan is speaking i'm like holy shit this looks incredible like it looked great then and it still looks great now and every time that like shepherd has to emote even slightly their eyebrows go up to the ceiling and it's like oh no let's talk to let's talk to uh the arbiter shepherd damned if you aren't a sight for sore eyes good to see you too sir Sir, I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal on me. Then I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. It's more, That's like, more it. like it. Yeah. So I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers and we can all come up for air? Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. It's all part of the job. It's what you hired me to do. Mostly you were hired to kill Reapers. I hope you haven't been sidetracked by all the politics. Well, nothing I can't well, handle. There's only so much you? talking What's in this game. Earth? I'll spare you the details. This game is special. just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver. And now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole, just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. Well, we're still working to help you out, man. I don't know how we'll win this yet, but we will. Even if it kills me. Well, you already died once, and that didn't slow you down. But let's not tempt fate. Keep yourself safe. Hey, children. Buffy died twice. Too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. She died real hard twice. Hmm. Oh, boy. All right, we're not quite done with Tuchunka yet, as it turns out. So, we still got two more missions here. We've also got Grisham Academy to check out, but it's brutal. I'm amazed the Turians are holding it. The birds don't quit when things get ugly. I'll give them that. I feel like uh Cerberus is attacking civilians on Benning. We've been asked to help evacuate the planet. Right. I understand. I get you. I don't know if we can completely finish Tuchunka in one stream, but we can go for it. We'll try. We'll do this uh this Cerberus attack first. And depending on how fast this one goes, we might be able to wrap up with what is basically the best mission in the game. Which is great. You know, considering how early we are. <laughs> Give me that shotgun blade, man. I want that blade for my sh the shotgun. Oh god, that looks very silly. Let's do it. All right, bring it up. We're out. We out. Also, we are really racking up these like bonus experience points. Landing forces away from the Tachunka battlefields. Their target seems to be an ancient ground to space cannon facility that hasn't been used since the Krogan rebellions. The site has no obvious military advantage, and the Krogan are spread too thin to deal with it. Do we know what Cerberus is up to? No, but we do know that Cerberus doesn't act without a plan. Get in there and stop them. Find out what they're up to while you're at it. Oh, I think we'll I know what done. this is. See to it. Pack it out. Looks like Cerberus got that cannon operational commander. Oh, I know what this is. Get on it. All right, let's find the control room for those cannons. Kill anything in our way. Sounds simple enough. I think. Yep. Yeah. So this is uh. A really good example of one of the things that this game does wrong. Big yeah. surprise. This is a, a repurposed uh, multiplayer map as a single player mission. 
because god damn it you remember okay so in mass effect one and two you would have well in one you would have missions that are like go onto the planet scan some stuff and you'll get like a paragraph of text Mm -hmm. uh, Mass Effect 2 has some DLC missions and stuff where it's like, um, go in there and blow up these mechs to save the crates, and that'll be what you do there. And it was weird, but they also had, like, Firewalker and stuff like that. So, like, every game has had their own, uh, their own side content. But 3's side content is just repurposed multiplayer assets and it really sucks it's canon because not only is it boring but it's like i still can't think of anything so misplaced than turning three into a multiplayer first experience as a conclusion to the trilogy you know what i mean it's like it's like, even when you try to play it like a single-player game, you can't ignore the fact that this game is not intended to be played this way. It always bleeds in. You can always tell. It's, it's the problem of, like, okay, so people will always talk about, oh, well, microtransactions and, uh, you know, scummy business practices don't, in, don't affect me because I, could, I just choose not to play it. And it's like... Well, no, you can't, because it affects the way that the game is designed. And, like, the actual content of what you're playing through is affected by every, every metric of how the game is made. And this is a really good example of exactly that. These could have been, like, substantial missions. Not that the ones in 1 and, in some cases, the ones in 2 were substantial. But if you had taken all of the money from making multiplayer shooter number 582 and instead diverted those resources and those assets into creating a more full single player game, I'm going to go ahead and say Mass Effect as a trilogy as a trilogy would not be all that Mass Effect is. Like it would have continued and not had to have taken 4 years into a hiatus. Because people like this, and this is what they want. And people did like the multiplayer in this game. Like, it's not its not a bad multiplayer, but it is a bad Mass Effect game. Oh god, and they just keep coming, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. I don't know about you, I was done with this mission, like, four waves ago. I was done with it before you started it. Yeah. That's also fair. Anybody else? Oh, yeah. No, all of you. Like, five of you. And it's hilarious, too, because you start up the mission, and you're like, Hey, Admiral Hackett. What can you tell me about what's going on? He's like, we don't know what's going on. We know that Cerberus is there. Do you know anything about their plans? It's impossible to say, Shepard. All we know is that it's bad and that Cerberus is there. Get in there and kill everyone and find out what they're up to. What, like, what a mission to see, you know? We have no news. Speaking we of did no writing. Cerberus is there, and Cerberus is bad, so go kill Cerberus. You got it, Admiral. And it's like, ostensibly, there's a- there's- not only is there a war on, but the other things that we have- We literally have a- a thing on our mission sheet right now that says, uh... Cure the genophage. Cure the genophage. <laughs> and it's on supposedly equal footing with this 
Gotta shoot the latch. Oh God, press the button! Oh, okay, okay. That's a, you see that looping animation? So the reason, yeah. the reason that that animation loops is because the animation for pulling out your Omni tool and like scanning or doing anything with, uh, with that is not long enough to get through this entire power module thing. So a lot of the time, the back now. it just stops in the middle of it and restarts. That's lazy as shit. Mass Effect 3, everybody. And again, people people go out of their way and say that Mass Effect Andromeda is the worst game in the series. I don't know if that's true, because... Like, God, this is just such an ugly piece of garbage to look at. And this is the this is the game after it's been modded up and prettied up. With all of the DLC included, mind you. Hmm. This is the intended full experience of the game. With all of the DLC and the work done on it that you can possibly have happen. It's true. There is this is the definitive Mass Effect 3 experience. For now. For now. But also, Which is you an know, interesting call. The, well, the Legendary Edition for Mass Effect 3 is not going to have any, like, gameplay changes. Uh, it's just, like, a graphical upgrade. Which means that you can't download the EGM mod. Which sucks. Because... EGM mod is also a much better way to play this game. I expected to find. Where else? Okay. Come on. Commander, cruiser initiating bombardment. Yep. Cannon control restored. Targeting enabled. Coordinates, Lieutenant. <clears throat> Hey, I hope that you Firing. like this, because this mission type shows up a lot. Starboard hit, Commander. Target breaking up. Repeat. Direct hit. That's a beautiful sight. All right. Good work, everyone. <laughs> yeah, that that's great. We animated the cannon firing once. Looks good. That's a beautiful Shepard, screen with shape. Shepard, cannons operational, Cerberus has actually given us the advantage in that system. The enemy's pulling back, but we think they'll try to seize the facility again. Seems likely. I'm sending an alliance team to keep it secure. We think you'll have to play that map again. They've got a in a strong defensive position, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Good work, Commander. Hack it out. I wanted to make, like, a Preston Garvey joke, but I don't know what his lines actually are. All I know is another settlement and then walk away from him. Like, I don't know verbatim what that line actually is. You got word of a new multiplayer map that needs our help. Why are you running away? Commander, you have an encrypted message from a... Miranda Lawson. Shit! What's up, oh, Miranda? Shit. Oh, we have a message from Arya as well. Uh, DLC. Ashley Williams is becoming a Spectre, which, uh, great. Fine. Uh, I was a Spectre before it was cool. Meet me on the Citadel. Commander. Uh, yeah, alright. We heard about our stay with the Alliance. We can only imagine what nonsense they cooked up to keep you there. We should talk. It's safer in person. Alright. Next time we go to the Citadel, we'll see Miranda. Uh, I believe... Yeah, the rest of this is DLC. So. All right, we got we got about forty five minutes left. I think we can get through this uh, this bit on Tuchunka. You ready to cure the fucking genophage? Might as well. Stop. Hostiles detected at the landing coordinates. Joker, what have you got? Sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud facility. No way you're going to be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the Shroud. Aye, aye, ma'am. New form of Reaper Shepherd using Shroud to poison Tuchanka's atmosphere. Problematic. Oh, they want to fight. 
They just got one. Primark, we're gonna need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses <laughs> on Palavin have been catastrophic. Dude, fuck off. We've just did this like 10 minutes ago. You said you'd help. It's time to deliver. Do your job. What is it you need? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Rex, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Yes, it's attack. time to Small take truck. Reach fraud facility. Finish synthesizing cure. We'll need Eve to come with us. Thanks to the Normandy upgrades that we have acquired, such as Drug. Primark Victus. Yo, failure isn't an option. And it's now or never. This is the biggest now, thing that's happened so the far. Age ends today. Is it another multiplayer map? Delatras. Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Chichanka. But have you considered now, the Renegade option? Solus has proposed using the Shroud. You spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow your misguided sympathy for the Krogan to cloud your judgment. Oh my god, fuck you. Do you honestly believe curing the genophage will end in lasting peace? Yes. We have to give the Krogan that chance. We can't condemn an entire race to extinction based on what might happen. You know, twice. What will happen is the Krogan will reproduce out of control. We uplifted them specifically for their violent nature, not their diplomatic skills. Another war is inevitable. That seems you like it's your problem. Years ago, our operation sounds like a personal problem to me. Facility to ensure what you're planning couldn't be done. Morden will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. Why would I do that? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Rex believe you fulfilled your promise. Morden would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. You're asking me to we subvert you Morden's work, not the cure the genophage, and, the and lie to fleets. Rex. If I sabotage the cure. For you? Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. Come on, though. Think about it. Excuse me while How I about just, fuck off? just twitch in place. All right. Uh, speaking of which, I am going to go ahead and go to the bathroom real quick before we get started. Uh, I'm going to put us on BRB, if that's all good with you. Okay, and we're back. It is time. It's time to cure the fucking genophage. Liara, Garrus... I'm gonna bring you guys because this is like a it's like a series wide problem. I'll say. Seems only fitting that we would bring you two along. Sounds good. You can just take what you want. I I'm so We're already relatively powerful, right? I, I kinda don't mind where those upgrades hall. just go. It's our sacred meeting ground. We'll land there and take an armored convoy against the Reaper. This will be the defining moment of Krogan history. Krogan history filled with defining moments. Sounds pretty cool. Bloody. Hope this one better. And you'll be leading it, Rex. Commander, well, you seem troubled. Yo, you will not fucking believe what I was just asked to do. I got a message from them. <sighs> Rex, it's Reap. The Reapers are already at the hollows. Come out with guns blazing. Hang on tight. We're heading in. The Dalatras decision is so stupid to me. Because it's like, what's... The, for why? What is the point? Shepard, keep them away from the female. I'll sort out what's happening with the other clan. Why would I possibly betray Rex now? Everyone pick your targets and keep an eye on our Also, no, why would I choose to do that for the sake of the Dalatrats? Who has so far proven to be the worst and most morally reprehensible character in the game. 
And this is a game in it's which... It's very... It's very Bethesda evil. Right? This is as bad as Caliban. It's like, uh... It's, it's uh... Mr. What's-His-Name showing up to offer you Tenpenny Tower. Mm -hmm. We're not done yet. More on the way. Honestly, more than anything, it's very Jade Empire. Because <laughs> playing an evil dude in Jade Empire is so cartoonishly evil that it makes no we sense. At least it is in practice. It's not... They'll sing battle songs about this someday. Reaper blood has finally soaked our soil. We have to get to the Shroud. The airstrike is on its way. Female safe, Shepard. Vitals are strong. What's a Solarian doing here? Nobody said anything about this. You're actually Multiple really gonna want this guy here. Problematic. Who are you? Erd not Reeve, brood brother to our illustrious leader. <laughs> and I share the same mother. And I will overweigh you. For which I'm thankful. I remember what it means to be a true Krogan. <laughs> we flay our enemies alive. Was that you making that noise, or was that the Krogan? We don't invite them into our home. Uh, yes. The Solarian's with me. This Solarian is not your enemy. He's here to help cure you. guys really enemy. want him here. His kind gave us the genophage. Why should we trust him? Yeah. Because I do. That's why. And so will you. Hey, yeah. You can stay here and let old wounds fester as Krogan have always done. Or you can fight the enemy you were born to destroy and win a new future for our children. I choose to fight. Who will join me? Me? I'm in. I will. And so will I. Now hold your heads high like true Krogan. And my axe. <laughs> Ah, uh, these things are neat. We finally get to see these outside of a of like a loading screen. Yeah. They're just Tonka trucks. That's all they are. Oh, I, I just remembered they're literally Tomka trucks. Yeah. Copy that, Artemek. We're on our way, trying to make up. Take the truck. Shepard out. Reeve isn't the only Krogan who wants revenge for the Genophage, Rex. You'll have to placate them somehow. I'll demand the council return some of our old territory. We'll need room to expand. Recapture the glory of the ancients. Glory of ancients led to Krogan rebellions, countless deaths, creation of genophage, expansion plan problematic. The ancients? What were the ancient Krogan like? Tachanka wasn't always a wasteland. In the old times, the Krogan were a proud people. We had dreams, a future to look forward to. Until Solarian interference. No, we destroyed Tachanka ourselves. Technology changed us. It made life too easy. Sounds familiar. So we looked for new challenges Heard that one before. and found them in each other. Nuclear war was inevitable. Sounds familiar. But now our planet is rubble. Sounds familiar. We'll need a better place to live. Krogan have earned it. I'd say helping defeat the Reapers would be worth a new planet. Or ten. You haven't seen how fast we can pop them out. Rex. What? <laughs> With the genophage cured, we'll have a lot of catching up to do. Commander, on the Rex shuttle, has got a crush. Was there something you were going to say? Yeah, yo, check this out. The Dalatras tried to cut a secret deal with me. For some reason. What kind of deal? She said they sabotaged the Shroud years ago. The cure won't work unless we fix it. Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you're planning couldn't be done. And she thought we wouldn't know better? Correctly. Would likely have fooled tests. But familiar with STG work, can adjust. Did not come this far for nothing. You just spared our race another genocide, Commander. 
I told you we could count on her. Anytime. Why are we stopping? I'll kidnap a thousand... I'll, <laughs> I'll kidnap a thousand genocides before I let the Krogan die. That's right. And I'll kill any Salarians who get in my way. <laughs> You and Morden stay with Eve. It's looking ugly out here. I mean, it's looking like it kind of usually does, to be honest with you. Hey, Krogan Scout. Oh, hey, what's this? I'll take that. Hey, buddy. The hold up. Roads out. The convoy can't make it through. Turian Wing Artemek, this is Shepard. We've been delayed. Hold off your attack. Negative, Commander. Our approach is locked. The Reaper already knows we're here. An airstrike alone won't do it. We have to get in that fight. Oh, I'm down for it. Damn it. I don't know how we're gonna fight a Reaper, but... Let's fight a Reaper. We have to build a new road. We are going! Shepard! Yes, sir. Shepard, what's happening? Rex, get the female out of here now. Go. It seems like we're losing. It's not entirely Artemis. clear what's Do happening, but we're losing. Understood. Save your pilots. We'll find another way. There's a tunnel over there. Could be a way off. Get Could to be. It. Excuse me while I just parkour my way this? through these ruins. Is everyone okay? Yeah, just scratches. Nothing the Solarian can't patch up. Reeves truck made it out too. The Turian said to call off the airstrike. Felt like a tremor. We'll need a new plan for dealing with the Reaper. First we'll have to find you. Where did you end up? Underground. I have no idea. You see ruins of some kind. Commander, that's the city of the ancients. How do we get out? No maps That's a big a spider web. Oh yeah. Trailblazer, Shepard. Get through there and we'll find a place to meet up. Nothing will stop <clears> this <throat> cure. Fascinating. This painting suggests Krogan had an artistic side. Had being the operative word. And now they have rubble. I would be down to get like I was gonna say a tattoo, not a tattoo. I would get poster. like Yeah, a poster of some uh or a hoodie like Krogan hieroglyphic art. Is that cultural appropriation? Yeah, but they don't exist. That makes it okay. I don't know if it makes it okay, but it means that nobody will get mad at you for it. That like, is not true. That's not true either. No, some people would there get very no. mad. That didn't feel like a tremor to me. Some Rex, people are already very tremors? mad. And they don't even know why. Somebody out there is getting, like, a crick in their neck. Their head ridges are starting to itch. They just don't know why. Wild Guess says that's Cal Ross. If that's what we've been hearing down here, I suggest we get moving. When the Krogan name a Thresher Maw, you know you're in trouble. They don't think anyone's ever going to kill it. Nothing to say about this one? Alright. Seems like the Krogan hunting packs. Not much has changed. Oh! What is that? Pretty grody. Look at the dead. max. Shepard, if I didn't know better, I'd say we've seen this before. She's right. This kind of looks like Rachni. Oh, Rachni? that explains but it. How? The queen you released on Novaria promised to live in peace. This one's different. Mutated. It's clearly been reaperized. Rex, those rumors you heard were true. It's glowing it blue. I know. A few of them just attacked us. We'll deal with it later. Getting to that shroud is all that matters. How do you look at this Agreed. and you're like, oh Try yeah, that looks like out. a rachni, but not, oh shit, the reapers have got something else. Finally, light ahead. 
It's that good old Mass Effect 3 days, writing. I would have loved to have spent time here studying these ruins. It makes you wonder what the Krogan might have done if they had grown up and left. I didn't even notice that the first time that I played the game. But Rest, now that I'm here thinking outside. about it, it's like... They fucking glow blue, dude. I thought plants were extinct around here. You're looking at hope. All that's left of it on Tachanka. This is once a world full of beauty. Given a chance, it can be again. Shepard, that Reaper is still up to no good at the Shroud. Find a way out of there and we'll pick you up. We're on it. I love the look of this planet. If nothing else, I would love to see... Because whatever the Mass Effect hey, game is that's coming out, it appears to take place in the future, after the events of these games, right? Hmm. That much we... That much we seem to know. I would really, really like to see Tuchanka... not fucked up like that. I would really like to see Tuchanka as like, um... With a little bit more color in it, you know? Post post apocalypse. Yeah, I'd like to see what the reconstruction of this planet looks like. Oh, we have a new enemy type. Right. And they hurt a lot. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. I need to like take cover. Not a place we want to get trapped. Question is Where is safe? Here is safe. Yeah, this will do fine. The Ravagers are like mobile turrets, kind of. Oh, man. And they live up to their name. Yeah, they hit hard. Uh, Liara. Oh, Liara is no. Liara is no. Grenade? Oh, well, Liara's dead, I guess. Okay, well. Liara, why don't you come back to life and then toss a singularity in there? There we go. Singularity's so good. Another break. That had to be Calros. Stay sharp. Calros, more than a myth as it turns out. Hmm. I am totally down to fight another Thresher Maw. Yeah, we still got a couple more waves to get through. Watch it, we've got one of the big ones. Where? Oh, right. Okay, good. Um, give me one of those right at the front. How about that? Give me one of those. Oh, I think it got stopped by the singularity. I don't think it could push through it. That was pretty good. I'm okay with that. Ooh. Let me get out of here for a second. Um, you guys toss in another singularity there. Why not? Toss down a proximity mine. And I'll just, I'll just skedaddle, you know? Yeah, that, uh, that melee is not doing a whole lot against the cannibals. Good thing this thing hits like a fucking truck and a half. I think that's it for now. It's a truck with another truck stuck to it. Rex, you're right about Calross. She's on the move. Yeah, we've got some ideas on that. What? Not now, Rex. The commander has enough to worry about. What's no, no, I want to hear it. crazy idea we can talk about. Just worry about getting out of there right now. Looks like another shooting gallery. Listen, his oh man, you could just sum up this entire game with that quote, Rex. Or Garrus. Oh god, what is happening on the screen? Okay, hold also, on. Also, I think I know what Rex is about to suggest, and I think I like it. I was gonna say, like, historically, Rex's suggestions and ideas are pretty damn good. Like, prodigious. You oh. might say that. 
Yep. Oh. This is you my may story. You wondering how I got into this situation. Well, there was not much I could do in that situation. Mm. A lot of that going around. Yeah. Yeah. If there was anything that I wanted to do more, Rex, right about Calrock. it was just play more of this mission. It's a good mission. Now, Rex. The commander has enough to worry about. But I'm I'm What's happening? Some crazy idea we can talk about later. I'm just down for another I'm down for more Mass Effect. I'm not down for another shooting gallery. Is the distinction I might make? Does that seem Finger fair? Curls on the monkey's paw. That's right. Ah oh, man. I would worry. At this point, Mass Effect, I'm worried because they're like, hey guys. We're bringing back Mass Effect as a battle royale in the Mass Effect universe. You can play as all of the races, and if you win a round and you're the last one to make it through, you can you can choose to date whoever you want, and you get a you get a little romanceable cutscene. That's your that's your your win. Oh my god! Okay, holy shit, this is a mess. Everybody up. I'm going over here. You go that way. I'll go home. Hey guys, how you doing? Okay, so I'm making the mistake of trying to shoot the, um, of trying to shoot the Rachni in, in, like, fleshy bits, because that's how the, uh, that's how the Scions were in 2, but it seems like they're taking a whole lot more damage when I shoot them in their Reaper part, which doesn't make sense, because you would think that that's the part that's stronger. Yeah, but it's also the part that is in control. The Rachni part is just dead flesh, more or less. Oh my god, this fucking game! Did you fucking see that? I sure did. Oh, this game is so bad! Oh, man. What? Is this just a grenade that never went off? I think it's a proximity mine that he placed and nothing ever got touched. I think that's what's going on here. Oh boy. Yeah, damage on these things seems a little inconsistent. I'm hesitant to go through here because what if it just spawns another enemy right on my fucking face? Oh god! I'm just- I have a headache looking at the screen. If the camera could be pushed back like... Maybe a good foot and a half, two feet? And if it could stop shaking? I wonder where we are now. This planet is one giant death trap. And the thing is, I bet Rex is enjoying this. I really like this planet. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I really like this planet. I wish it was easier to look at the screen. Oh yeah, but Rex is having the time of his life. Also, every time that Liara gets really close to us, I keep thinking that she's a husk. Like out of the Especially in this game. With these designs. Yeah, ever they, everything kind of looks Too much blue. the same. Yeah, yeah. Would you believe me if I said that there's one big thing to talk about? Like, uh, one, one more complaint that I have that I've been saving because it's maybe the smallest complaint imaginable, but it's one of my biggest problems? Yeah, I would believe that. 
I want you to keep that in mind. Because we're going to be talking about it when we're not in the middle of combat. And not in the middle of a mission that actually matters. Got it. <laughs> oh, that looks so bad. Okay, somebody. Yeah, that'll do. That's fine. I wish that there was like a way to detach from cover without like doing this. Because sometimes it works and sometimes it just doesn't. Shepard, we've almost lost Calross. Get down from there and we'll find you. All right. Let's make it through. Shepard, get over here. Reeve, keep an eye out for that mall. I don't want it sneaking up on us. Make it quick, Rex. We're exposed. Move it! Everybody inside the big floating texture. Move, Shepard! It's Mulduga! We're in! Go! What about Reed? No way he survived that. And he was a pain in the ass anyway. Now let's finish this. There's a Reaper waiting for us. He's like right we in the middle of where we need to go. This. I know we've beaten the odds before. But getting to that tower, I don't know. We're curing the Jedi. Yeah, how are we going to fight this exactly? Everything my people will ever be depends on it. And I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It was hers, actually. Cal Ross. Let's see if it's what we I think it is. Summon her to the Reaper. With that yeah. Already yeah. Yeah. Two Trunk is the best mission of the game. You are synthesized, released. Kalros. What makes you so sure she'll come? Legends say she is the mother from which all other Thresher Maws spawn. Oh yeah. This is as much her home as ours. If Tuchanka has a temper, Kalros is it. Nobody's ever faced her and survived. <laughs> We've done worse. We flew through the Omega Four relay and survived. We can do this. Except for Zaid. That's a spirit, Shepard. How would we summon her? The tower was built in an arena devoted to Kalros's glory. The Salarians thought she would scare away intruders. Appears to have worked. There are two Maw Hammers there, the largest in existence. If you can activate them, Kalros will come. That should distract the Reaper. Pretty much what Meanwhile, we did with Grunt then. Nearby. We'll finish. So yeah. That'll be cool. Let's get it done. We know why we're here and what's at stake. So let's make it happen. Wait! I want you to know that no matter what happens, you've been a champion to the Krogan people, a friend of Clan Erdnot. Hell yeah. And a sister to me. Hell Every yeah. Krogan born after this day, the name Shepard will mean hero. Hell yeah. Now, let's show them why. Could you imagine you leave him hanging? Go. Bullshit. Oh god. This is my planet. This is pretty good. See you on the other side. At Stay first alive. I was going to be like, we'll man, ready. they really are just like walking prolapses and then Rex comes along and does his thing. Let's get in there. And it's like, ah, that makes up for it. You can think about that instead. Yes. But it sure didn't stop you from saying it. No, Again. why? Listen, why would it stop me from saying it? Shepard, I took care of those Good or shit. Has to raise those maw you can use them. Also, hey, kind of happy 35th Rex. anniversary to the Legend of Zelda. I can't believe that we aren't getting the 3D All Star Collection. I thought that was for sure. Original strain in storage. Preparing the cure now. But we are getting a uh, Skyward Sword re-released. Oh yeah, that was a bad move. I shouldn't have done that. Everyone all right? I did that when I was younger, and it was a bad move. I think so. God, that thing is big. Did we just get shot by a Reaper? Consider that practice. 
Oh boy, okay. Well, how about... Let's go up this way. Okay, Shepard. I raised the hammers. You have to activate both of them. My advice is avoid the giant laser. Thanks, Rex. Are we sure about this? Just keep moving. This is a really good mission. Stick to cover. I'm not sure cover's going to work. Oh boy. Get out of there. Get in. On it. I'm on it. Oh no, oh no. Get through. I don't think Cerberus can bring me back from that. Yeah, got a bit of a hunch there. Like, Mass Effect 2, we were deader than deader than dead. We consider, like, burning up in the atmosphere and everything. Like, re-entering. Yeah. But, somehow, this... This seems It's all that Lazarus belly. Oh, good. I can't see shit. Oh, it's you. That's what I figured. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is fucking ridiculous. I need to get out of here. Oh, good. There are two of them now. There are three of them now. Hit this button. Morton, we hit the first is it possible to ignore that? Yes. Oh, I think there are four of them? Maybe five. There are so many. Rex is good company. I genu- I have genuinely lost count of how many there are. Probably four, maybe five. Possibly more. I counted six, and I was like, that seems like too many. Okay, this I gotta see. This is pretty good. Get off my planet! The Thresher- the Thresher Malls are so cool! They've gotten six- like, cooler in succession every game. This is basically a kaiju battle. Oh yeah, no, 100%. But with some really good designs. Just like, body slamming it. Oh, that's good. The mother of all Thresher Maws can apparently one-hit kill a Reaper. Well, there's an easy solution. Just bring all the Reapers to Tuchanka. Yeah. Problem solved. Hey, Mord, you see that shit? That was, like, that was insane. Shepard, I did, in fact, see that ship. Morton, is the cure ready? Yes. Loaded for dispersal in two minutes. Procedure traumatic for Eve, but not lethal. Malin's research invaluable. Let's do it. She's okay? Headed to safety now. Her survival fortunate. We'll stabilize new government should Rex get any ideas. Good match. Promising future for Krogan. Damn! Control room at top of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator up. You're going up there? That a good idea. Yes. Manual access required. Have to counteract STG sabotage. Ensure cure dispersed properly. Morton, this whole thing is coming apart. There's got to be another way. Remote bypass impossible. STG countermeasures in place. No time to adjust cure for temperature variance. No, no other option. Not coming back. Suggest you get clear. Explosions likely to be. Man, I've already dragged you out of one suicide mission. Morton, no. Shepard, please. Need to do this. My project, my work, my cure. My responsibility. Morden. Would have liked to run tests on the seashells. I'll miss you, man. I'm sorry. I'm not. Had to be me. Someone, Someone else, else might have gotten, gotten it wrong. wrong. 
Damn. Holy shit. He's making good on it. After everything. You know, this is the second time in the same stream we've seen somebody do the redemption equals death thing. Only this time mm -hmm. it's a character who we actually care about and has a lot to redeem. Looks like he did it. And you get that Mass Effect 1 theme back in there too. If you're gonna go out, that's a good way to do it. Yeah. The genophage is actually over. A long time ago. Holy shit. My father betrayed me in this place. His own son. He tried to kill me, so I had to kill him. Right over there. That's what the genophage reduced us to. Animals. But you changed that today, Shepard. Now we'll fight for our children, not against them. It's just a pity Morden had to die. He was a good friend. He wouldn't have had it any other way. But I'm sure wherever he is, he's putting in a good word for us. We'll name one of the kids after him. Maybe a girl. <laughs> but you, Commander. We can thank you in person. Tell the Turians I'll be deploying troops to Palavan immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. Goodbye, Commander. Oh, you do now. holy shit. Spread the hope you've given us. Even now, there are clans gathering in the Kelphic Valley. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnot Bakara calls you a friend. So, not only did we stop the genophage, Hell of a thing you just but we also commander. like brokered peace Curing between the, the Turians and the Krogan. I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. This is really big. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. Really big. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Oh my For God! On that commander. What the? We don't need them. Oh, that's far bad. Now. Way to undercut the first good thing you did. Commander, Erdnot Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain. And now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I'll hold you to that. We're going to need you. Don't forget where we live. Never. It's clear we all fight together or die. That's goddamn right. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Oh, yeah. Morden dying. Oh, yeah. It can't be easy. 
I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. Man. You should catch some shut eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. Who's going to give us, like, alien Kama Anything Sutra panels really and oils for our boyfriend? Nobody else knows about that. It's just Morden. It's just Morden. Oh no! Why now? Why now? Why did we... Oh. Oh my god, I don't give a shit. After we just had to say goodbye to, like, one of the coolest squad members in the entire series and solve the fucking genophage. And now we get this. And now we've got... Boing! This summer... One man... One world. One stupid child will run like a doofus into the woods and get himself killed. Shepherd. Where'd you go, you piece of shit? Did you get stuck in another vent? Horrible dirt child. Starring Jim Belushi as Dirt Child. Jennifer Hale as Commander Shepard. And Erdnot Rex as himself. I, I, I think I've legitimately lost the kid. Up here? Follow the ghosts? Oh, why can't I run? Remember when they did something really similar to this at the end of um, Deadly Premonition 2? Yeah. And it was like awesome. You were just walking in a straight line and Zack was talking and having like a moment. And it wasn't this. Bix, where the fuck is the stupid dirt child? How am I supposed to know? I can't see him! Saeed. I'm haunted by the mistakes of my past. Oh, why would you do this? Wait, is it looping? We've seen this bench. Yeah, but you might have just gone in a circle. You have not been walking in a straight line. I've been trying to walk towards like points of interest. Like that bench. That bench. Hey, it's that bench. See, what what should happen is you should get to the end. Like, you should get to the boundary. And right here, it should just spawn you into the cutscene. Because it's like, okay, okay, it does it if you do it twice. Oh my god. Can you, like, emote with your face so that I care about you at all? Stupid. And Shepard's eyes clip into her face. Title card. Mass Effect 3. Oh, man. No. 
You what fucking hand is going through the data pad? It's open. Hey, Liara. There's something you need to hear. All right. Oh, that can't be good. You just woke me up from a really good dream, is Liara. Is this a bad time? No. It's fine. Tell me what's going on. The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let me guess. He called the comm room. The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. It'd be the first time for everything, I guess. Yeah. Oh god, that whole sequence is just so bad. Commander, there is something we should discuss if you are finished rewriting history. I made my decision, Counselor. Are you also going to advocate right for genocide? Yes. Because I don't want to hear it. We're going to have billions more Krogan in the galaxy. It's a good thing you saved my life once, Shepard. Dude, fuck Otherwise, you. Fuck off. Well, I have concerns about humanity's representation. Otherwise you'd be dead, dumbass. My agents have discovered that he's using his authority to move vast sums of money. For what purpose? We're not sure. So call the cops. Why bring this to me? Put Citadel security on it. You are a human and relatively neutral politically. Your backing would help me ease through... Well, let's not speak of it now. Come to the Citadel and grab... Stop talking like the time. fucking G-Man. You may find it interesting. Valor <laughs> out. You can't say, but like, Valorn out. You don't have a cool handle. You can be like... Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Hey, here's something really positive that I like uh, before we end the stream. Yeah. You may... You see that, uh, you see that currency indicator there? Uh-huh. That is the same graphic that not only has been through all of the Mass Effect games, uh, it's also the currency indicator for like KOTOR and Jade Empire. I really, really like that they keep that as like a little nod. I think that's super cool. So that explains why it looks so out of place. Right? That explains why it looks like something that came off of like a D&D &D board. Mm-hmm. I, I really like that they've kept that. Oh boy. I can't believe that we ended the best mission in the game, not counting DLC. The best base mission in the game and then immediately into Adam Sandler Dirt Child Chase Simulator for like what felt like 20 minutes and it was like 2 minutes. Took forever. Took so long. Anyway, we're we're a little over our time. Uh anything you want to oh, say damn. before we, we go? I want to lay it down. That's what I have to say. I wanna go home. I ain't afraid of no bed. Sleeping makes me feel good. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this game is... Even, like, over a decade after it came out, uh, Mass Effect 3 is still a train wreck. And, uh... Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you have a See good day. See you next time.